Hi, this is James Abraham with Warehouse-Lighting.com. I'm going to show you in this video how to retro an old T8 fixture over to LED tubes using one of our two kits. And the two kits are a CS bracket kit, which is pictured here, or an RSX8 kit, which is actually used for a an 8 foot fixture but you can remove the center piece and only use the two end pieces and basically what happens with this kit is you break off the pieces and you fold this around the fixture it can go up to about a 6 inch fixture um, OD and then um, you know our other kit is uh, just adjustable with slides which is back to the CS kit comes with quarter turns comes with tombstones on an LED conversion though, the tombstones you're going to use are going to be unshunted. Which basically means it has four holes on the bottom. So that you can jumper from one to the next to the next lamp. You also need some jumper wires which you can usually take this with the, uh, from the old ballast that's internal of the fixture. This is the jumper from one lamp to the next on a two lamp fixture. You'll also need to bring some wire nuts. The kit is also supplied with quarter turns and you can have, there's several kits where you can uh, have the option of either a ballast cover which is pictured here or a reflector kit and you can get that in a mirrored material or a white material. So today what we're going to do is we're going to retrofit a four foot fixture with two LED lamps. It's basically taking a four foot T8 with 32 watts and dropping it down to anything under that which would be, in this case it's two 20 watt bulbs, saving you about uh, 12 watts per bulb, 24 watts altogether. Um, and what I'll do is uh, I basically rig this fixture up with a power cord and plugged it in so that uh, we have power on it and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to disassemble this fixture um, what you want to do first also is uh, disconnect the power which is disconnected on this particular fixture again when first disassembling the fixture you want to remove the ballast cover that's there exposing the ballast and its wires you want to use a screwdriver to remove the the ballast that's already there usually one screw or two then you want to remove the tombstone ends sometimes you can utilize these with the new tombstones but in this case I'm going to uh, just use our brackets to show you. It's as easy as that. Clearing out the fixture and all we have back left is the power lead, the ground, and uh, the negative. When uh, retroing the fixture I'm going to use the CS bracket. It's a little easier to use for me. Um, just because it's already predetermined the size. You're going to install the unshunted tombstones, which would be for an LED use or a program start ballast. We'll snap those in. dead end, which is the end without the power, to the end of the fixture. There's going to be no wires run to that side of a two lamp fixture. The only time you would run wires down is if you were using an eight foot fixture, which we also have a video on, um, and you would use a jumper to go from this side to the other tombstones that would be sitting on the other end of this, or you would bring it in and run the wire from the one end to both center tombstones so that you wouldn't have to use the jumper. 
But in this particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to use our tech screws to attach this side of the fixture, um, which like I said before is the dud. Um, we can dispose of the old uh, ballast cover. You can utilize the old ballast cover if you want to tech screw the, uh, the uh, ballast cover to the fixture um, because these aren't going to line up with your old ballast covers. On this particular side, what we're going to do is we're going to take our tech screws. We're going to run them into this fixture, as so. Give myself a little distance. Okay, so the one side's attached. Now, what we have to do is take our other bracket and attach our tombstones for the powered in. And this is a single in power um, lamp that we're using, LED lamp that we're using. So everything's going to be on one single end. There is also a dual in um, power option to have fixtures wired to, but um, they aren't UL approved and these are, so that's why we're going through these. So as I'm hooking up the other side, which is the power at the end, there's a couple things we want to look at here. We want to use our jumpers, and one jumper we're going to run from the regular power line. We're going to use our wire nuts to attach this. Electrical tape at the end also might not be a bad idea. And then we want to use one of our jumpers also to go from the negative side. And by the way, this probably should be your last thing to hook up. But our power is disconnected, so we know we're safe there. And then we want to attach our ground to um, directly to our fixture. to one side, I'll cut this off, it's a little broad, our starter side of a tombstone on one end, and then we want to take our negative and we want to put it in the other end. This one's just a hair too long, too. Just like that. Now, to power up this tombstone, we want to utilize our other two jumpers. One to go from negative to the other negative, directly across, same position. And then the other one from our positive, directly across the same position, to look like this. And if we had an eight foot fixture, we would take this spot that's left on both sides here and run it all the way to the other, other end of the fixture, or the center of the fixture. So now, what we've done is we've finished wiring our positive side, which is the only side we have to do on a single end fixture like this. We're going to tighten these up. 
What I usually use is a lamp to tell you what your distance is supposed to be. So you know where to tech screw the other end to. And then you grab a tech screw and Tech screw on the other side. Now, I'm going to move the lamp. And by the way, these can be wired on the floor and then taken up and then just tech screwed in, which I find is easiest for electricians on the move. Take our ballast cover if we've ordered that option. And we're going to put it in. Uh, what you're going to notice is um, there's holes at the end that line up with a slide that's there. And you can use your quarter turns to attach that reflector to the fixture itself. And you've just retroed an LED fixture to your old T8s. We'll show you how they light up. We're going to install our lamps. Remember, your powered end is usually the end with the writing on it. So you're going to slide that in, twist it down. Then you're going to do the same thing with this, power in, slide it in, twist it down, and now we're going to plug it in. And there you go. It's as easy as that. With our kits, you can call us. You can ask us questions. This will give you an idea how to do a regular four-foot fixture. If you have more lamps in the fixture, all you do is use more jumpers. And you go to one, one tombstone to the next tombstone. You always want to remember, you want to use unshunted sockets to do this on a single-end um, LED lamp like the one that was just shown to you. You want to remove all the components from it. You want to recycle everything. Uh, big proponent on recycling. You can always call, us, call and ask us questions at 888-454-4480. Thanks for coming by and uh, watching how we do this. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.